So what I want to focus on in this screenshot are the two white status lights on ports two and three. They signify 10 gig networking. Now, what I want to show you today in this video is how I set up 10 gig networking between my 2018 iMac and the Synology 1621 Plus. What we'll do is we'll go over the hardware, we'll take a look at the actual physical connections, and then we'll take a look at the adapter cards as well, and then probably just do an iPerf speed test to show you the speeds that I'm getting. So if you're interested in seeing this, stick around. So looking at the hardware from a switch perspective, I'm using the Ubiquiti Unify switch aggregation. Now I did a video on that recently, so if you want, go ahead and check that out. On the Synology end of things, I installed this 10 gig adapter card in the 1621 Plus. And yes, Synology did send me the 1621 Plus along with this adapter card. To get the 10 gig networking out of the 2018 Mac, I bought this Sonnet Echo Express SE3 E Thunderbolt chassis. Now it does come with a pretty hefty price tag, but it also gives you three PCI slots, PCIe slots for expansion. Currently I'm only using one and I'm using this adapter card inside the chassis to get the 10 gig networking in and out of the Mac. So now that you've seen all of the hardware, let's go ahead and look at the actual physical connections. So there you can see the Sonnet chassis and I have a Thunderbolt cable running up to the back of the Mac and it's plugged into a Thunderbolt 3 port, as you can see here. I ended up making up my own CAT6 cable because I didn't have a long enough patch cable. You can see it's just running across the floor, and it's plugged into the wall jack, port number 19. The other side of port number 19 is patched into the server rack into switch aggregation using a 10G Tech RJ45 to fiber adapter. The same adapter is being used to patch the 1621 plus which right now is just there temporarily until I get a longer cable it's just being used now for testing so once you have all of the physical connections in place it's really super simple in fact the drivers are built right into the Mac OS if you're running version 10.12.6 or newer let me show you let me bring up the Mac network preferences We'll come down here to network and you'll see it just shows up under the Thunderbolt slot one and it shows as connected. Now, what I did do was I did come over to the hardware section and I did change the MTU to Jumbo 9000 and then applied that. That's the only change that I made. That said, let me take you over to the Synology and show you the same thing on the adapter card for the Synology. So let's go into the control panel. Let's go into the network interface. You can see we have LAN 5 connected. And if you look at the stats here, it says enable jumbo frame. The MTU value is 9000. You can see we have a 10 gig connection here. And to make this change on the MTU, just simply select the interface, click on edit, and then just enable set MTU value manually and then just change it from the default of 1500 to 9000. So I did that on the Synology. So now I have the Mac and the Synology both set to jumbo frames, but you have to go over to the switch as well. So in Unify, if we click on the aggregation switch and we come over to the config wheel and down to services, you'll see that I have enable jumbo frames turned on here as well. So now that we've gotten that all set up and I've showed you just the changes I made in the software, now let's go ahead and run some iPerf tests and we'll show you the speeds that we're getting in between the 2018 Mac and the 1621 Plus. All right, everyone, I've shown you the hardware that I used, but I did forget to show you the RJ45 to fiber modules I did use the 10G Tech. They worked really, really well. I showed you the physical connections and I showed you the changes that I made to the adapter cards and to the switch. Now, what I wanna show you is the iPerf speed test so that you can see the 10 gig connection between the 2018 iMac and the 1621 Plus. So what you're looking at here on the screen, on the left side, I'm SS, SSH'd into the 1621 Plus and I'm running Docker. I'm running iPerf in a Docker container. I'll put the 
command to that down in the video description if you're interested in how to do that. You can see that it says the server is listening on port 5201. So that's this left box. On the right side is the 2018 iMac, and I'm going to paste in the command to run iPerf as a client. And you can see it just basically says iPerf dash C for client and then the IP address of the 1621 plus. So let's go ahead and start the test and see what kind of speed results we get. So we got 9.9. .9 gigabits 9.88 9.86 9.88 so for an average of 9.89 gigabits per second so that's pretty good let's do it one more time and we're pretty much getting the same results we're transferring 11.5 gigabytes at 9.89 gigabits per second. We're getting exactly the same on the server side. So there you have it. Just a simple home networking 10 gig setup. I hope you enjoyed this video and this little walkthrough. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. And as always, I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. And if you would like to help support the channel, there's links to the Patreon page and PayPal down in the video description.